Today, the royal expert Mr. Benjamin is claiming that Harry is unhappy and he cannot regain public image without the royal family. He explains his position, saying Harry's certainly unhappy, Harry's Netflix deal is under growing criticism, Harry is an idiot and a nasty, arrogant little man. The idiot in him fell for Soho House's sting operation and the nasty side then fabricated stories in a futile attempt to blame his family, who only ever loved and protected him. His arrogance prevents any self-reflection, let alone accepting responsibility. What is becoming increasingly clear, though, is that Netflix was in on the Meghan and Harry scam the whole time. They were so excited at the prospect of capturing a real, live member of the royal family who was more than willing to trade insider information in exchange for cold, hard cash. But now the Harkles are just facing more criticism as the end is coming nearer. The exploitation of his own mother's memory, whom he claimed to love, and who Meghan Markle creepily tries to be like. It seems like Meghan and Harry never thought the tables were going to turn on them, but of course, that was always bound to happen. And it looks like for Harry, the day of reckoning is coming, and it's not gonna be pretty. See, Hollywood doesn't really care about how special you are. They're gonna chew you up and spit you out, and then send you back home with no money and torn apart, and the only people who are going to accept you back are some members of that family that you betrayed for money. Is it a good deal? Doesn't seem like it to me. Mr. Benjamin went on to say he's a fish out of water in Hollywood, mixing with film A-listers, and of course, he's aware of it. He's also aware that his evil wife has conned him. Evil? The late queen referred to her as that evil woman, and recently, Harry has told his former friends, according to the Royal Berkshire set, that she is evil. It is obvious to anybody who has been paying attention that Harry's trapped in that marriage. He wants his previous life back, but he doesn't know how to get it back. He already knows that he has lost the love of the public that he once enjoyed. But Megan's lies, especially the one about the fake pregnancies, is making it very difficult for Harry to find his way back into his family. The royal family knows good and well this was a scam that Meghan Markle came up with. But because Harry attacked his family, they're going to make him squirm a little bit before they let him come back. At the moment, the royals are ignoring him, but there are rumors that Harry's wanting to come back without Meghan. And according to the rumor, it's Meghan who will get custody of the kids if there are any. People are also predicting that Charles cannot stay strong. He's going to give in to Harry, which will go against the wishes of William and Camilla. But people are saying it is going to happen. Harry is going to come back. Unfortunately, though, if he returns, which I'm guessing he will eventually, he's never going to be a working royal again. He's going to have to live privately, and he will rarely be seen out by the public. He, of course, is going to get an allowance from his father, which his father can cut off if he ever dares to cause any trouble again. And if William and Catherine don't want anything to do with him, well, that's fine. They won't need to have anything to do with him. Harry's going to be completely forgotten when William's children grow up, and the media are focused on the coverage of them. Personally, I believe these rumors. I'm sure Harry's going to come back, but for a long time it has seemed to me and other people that William is the power behind the throne, and I don't believe he's going to allow Harry to be around him, not even at Christmas, let alone family and state events. The king knows better than to piss off his heir. Now that would be a real crisis, and I don't believe the advisors, counselors, and all those men in gray suits would take Charles' side in that situation. It doesn't matter if he is the king. Everyone who is working high up in the monarchy knows that Charles is not the most popular king the country has ever seen, and in fact, William would make a better king. So Charles can give in to Harry's demands behind the scenes, because that is his darling boy. But still, he needs to be careful, because he would be an idiot to cause some problem with William. The royal expert concluded by saying, As for Camilla and Catherine, can't see them breathing the same air as Harry, let alone be in the same room. Harry needs to be in internal exile with lots of lovely security as he wants. Can't help feeling, though, if Meghan has custody of the dolls kept in a hat box, the story will then break and she'll be the one facing the music. Let alone the people who've been silent on both sides of the Atlantic. In my opinion, if, when Harry does come back to his family, he's going to need to be rehabilitated. He's going to need to be deprogrammed. Maybe he can go to a nice private clinic in Switzerland or somewhere like that. And then he needs to go live in the countryside, and he needs to lay low. Or maybe he could go to Africa. He said he wanted to go there after all. But I don't see him coming back to the UK unless he and Meghan are done forever. 
Many citizens of the UK and the Commonwealth countries are also upset with King Charles. They believe that he has put up with too much from Harry and Meghan. They wish that he would show more strength in that area. People are saying that he's not loyal to the people of his country. It is true that Prince Charles always wanted Charles to be a bit tougher. I mean, the thing is, Charles does not compare to his mother as a monarch. And as for Queen Camilla, well, I guess she puts up with a whole lot from him. But anyway, it doesn't mean the public should. It is such a mess that is caused by this evil woman Meghan Markle and that idiot who followed her. I don't fully agree, though, with the people who claim that Charles is weak and ineffective. I mean, in my opinion, he's doing fine. He said they were overseas, he didn't mention the children in his first speech as king. So this told us they're out of the monarchy for good. And he prevented Meghan from going to Balmoral when the queen was passing away. Meghan was not at the coronation either, and Harry was there, but none of his demands were met. He had to attend for protocol reasons, and then he was gone. And right after Spare hit shelves, they were kicked out of Frogmore Cottage. We hear that Charles will not even talk with Harry directly, and it's probable that the birthday phone call was completely made up. Meghan has had a habit before of lying about phone calls. No invitation to the birthday party or sounding them for Christmas. That tells me Charles is putting Harry and Meghan in their places, and they're not getting any money either. Charles just focuses on the good work he has to do as king, and he ignores those Montecito malcontents. He made William and Catherine the Prince and Princess of Wales good on him, and he gave Harry and Meghan his love as they continued to build their life together overseas. He didn't mention the titles, he didn't mention the invisible children. So in my opinion, people need to give the king a little more credit for how he is handling Meghan and Harry. Harry's also out for good. If he comes back to the UK, it's going to be on his own, and he's going to have to live the private life that he claimed he wanted. I don't believe William will ever find it in his heart to forgive Harry for everything he did. And it is sad when you compare Charles' 70th birthday to now. King Charles trained for this job as king his entire life. He knows all about protocol, and he knows about the trouble that his son has caused for the monarchy and the UK. King Charles works hard, and if the crowds are anything to go by, he is actually popular. Meghan and Harry's antics have not hurt the royal family. In fact, it's only earned them more fans. I think the king is doing the best that he can under these circumstances, and I'm sure it's hard for him. Harry is his son after all, and Harry just won't respect him. But you know, Harry's never going to be forgiven by the British people, and I don't think he deserves it, but he is the son of King Charles, so he's probably going to be allowed back into the family. I don't know how all of this is going to turn out in the end, but I do hope that eventually Meghan is out of our lives forever. And you, what do you think about them? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. Don't be afraid to like and share this video with anybody else who would enjoy it anytime you want. And please do subscribe to support us more. Again, thank you so much for watching, goodbye, and I'll be back to see you tomorrow.